Alright, so now we have everything installed, let's go ahead and do a test sketch just to make sure everything's working. So we'll open up Arduino, and once it opens up, we'll go to File, Examples, Communication, ASCII Table. Um, so this one's just a little example program, um, it'll just print out onto the serial display. Uh, so you need to make sure you go to Tools, make sure under Board that you have the Rokit Smart Inventor Mega32 V2 selected, so you have the right board version. Uh, if you have the V1 version, then select that one, um, but most of you probably have the V2, it'll have a green sticker next to the battery plug. Um, next, make sure you have the right COM port. If it's not showing up, make sure you already have your Arduino or your Rokit connected um, with the USB cable. They have dip switch 1 up, all the rest of them down, and that the rightmost LED is blinking and none of the others are on. If you aren't having that, make sure the switches are up, try hitting the reset button, unplug it, replug it, and make sure that's all connected up. Once it is, we can go ahead and click upload. Alright, so then once it finishes uploading, we can click on this magnifying glass in the top right corner. This opens up the serial monitor where the program runs. Uh, make sure that for the baud rate over here, you have 9600 selected. Once you do, flip down that dip switch 1, and that'll run the program. And so now it should just print out all sorts of stuff on this. Um, what it is, is just print out on the left, you'll see all the different characters and letters. And then it prints out the decimal and hex, octal, and binary numbers that represent those. So if you got stuff, something that looks like this on your display, then everything should be set up correctly.